Hello everyone. Welcome to Chess Maths. Today we will learn about factor and multiples. So let's start with the factors. What are factors? What are the properties of factor? How to find out the uh, factor of a given number? Let's start with. First of all, what are factor? So the definition of factor is a fact is a factor of a given number is a number that divides the given number exactly. No remainder. Let's understand in normal language. A factor means a number which divides that number completely. So, uh, let us try to understand through example. I find out the factor of 48. Find out the factor of 48. Here, I have a question where it is saying that find out the factor of 48. Means... We have to find out those number which divides 48 completely. Like there should not be any remainder. So we have to find out those numbers. So we will check it out how 48 is 1 divides 48 completely. So 1 is factor of 48. Now we will check another number. It's 24. So 2 is also a factor of 48. Now the next number 3. It's 1, 6. So 3 is a factor of 48. What is next number? 4, 1, 12. So 4 is factor of 48. Because these number divides 48 completely. No remainder. Um, now the 5th. If I divide 5. 48 with 5, then we'll have one remainder. If you want to check, you can check it here. 5, uh, 5 nines are 45. So there is remainder 3. That's why 5 is not considered as factor of 48. So you understand that factor means those number which divides the given number completely. Means no remainder should be there. Okay. So, 5 is not a factor of 48. What about 6? 48 divided by 6. Uh, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 8 is so a 48. So, 6 is also a factor of 48. What about 7? 7 is not. Uh, 7 cannot divide 48 completely. So, 7 won't be a factor of 48. 8. Yes, 8. Up now, See, we have reached at a point where these numbers got interchange. So see, earlier it was 8, now 8 here, 6 here. These numbers got interchange. Okay, now if I see the number 9, then 9 won't be factor of 48. 48 won't be divisible by 9, completely divisible by 9. So 9 won't consider as a factor of 48. Now 10, 10 is also not, 11, 11 is also not, 12, see, 12 is divisible by, so the, it's 4. And now what I'm trying to make you understand that we will get a point where our number got interchange. Okay, so these were the factors, okay, but these numbers are also be factor of 48. If I do like this. 48 divided by 12, 13 is not 14, 15. If you can check it out, 16. So 16, 3 is a 48. Again, we have this number, but only our numbers got interchange. Now 17, 18, it won't be. Later on, we'll get 24 by 48 divided by 24, which comes as 2. Okay. And it's 48 which is 1. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 48. These are my factors. Uh, now what I am trying to make you understand. We will get a point where our numbers got interchanged. So 1 and 48 both the numbers are called factor of 48. When we get a point where our numbers got interchanged. There we will stop. And we will consider these number is also our factors. Okay. 
I'll try to understand through one more example. Now, I know this is very long method because you have to check each and every numbers. You cannot miss any. Later we will understand another method which is called prime factorization method. But initially you have to find out with every natural number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Suppose I have to find out the factors of 8. Factors of 8. Okay. So 8 is divisible by 1 means this is our factor. This will be also our factor. So we can say that 1 and 8 are factor. Later 8 is also divisible by 2 which is like 2 and 4 are factor. Now 8 is not divisible by 3. 8 is not divisible. Now 4. So here my numbers got interchange. So now we will stop it. We will not check after that. 5, 6, 7, 8. There is no need to check it out. Just we, what we can do that these numbers are our factors. So factor of Factor of 8 is 1, 2, 4 and 8. I hope you understand the concept of factor. Now we will understand what are the properties of factors. There are some properties which will follow here. So the first property is properties. Of factor. So first is one is factor of every number. Now the second one is one is factor of every number. The second one is every non-zero number has factor itself. Like if I have to find out the factor of 8 then 8 is also one of its factor. So every number has uh, every number has a factor itself. Now third is every factor is smaller than or equal to given number. Like if I have to find out the factor of 8, then it's 1, 2, 4 and 8. So it can't be more than 8. Yes. Third one is, it should be always less than and equal to 8. Okay. The fourth one is, factors can be countable. Like it, it should be always countable. Like if I have to, like uh, when I find, uh, found the factor of 48, it was uh, I think 6 or 7 numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 48. These were the factor of 48 and we can count these numbers. So factors are always countable. These are the 4 properties of factor. Multiples. Multiples means the product of a given number with the natural numbers. So like we have to find out the multiple of 5. What does it mean? Multiple means the product of given number with natural number. So question is that find the multiple of 5. It means that Multiple means the product of given number with natural number. So this is the multiple of 5. This will be the multiple of 5. What I have done here? This will go so on, so on, so on. So these are our multiples. Or we can say that 5, 10, 15, like this 20, this will be the multiple of, of 5. Okay, we have to multiply these like the whatever number 
uh, is given to us we have to multiply that number with the uh, natural number okay through this we can find out the multiple of any number like if, if we need to find out the multiple of 20 then what we will do we will multiply find out the multiple of 20 then what we will do we will multiply 20 with all the natural numbers and I hope you understand the natural number natural number starts with 1 so it's 20 this is first multiple uh, this this will be our second multiple this will be my third multiple we can find out infinity numbers of multiple of a, any number okay so this is the way we can find out the multiple now what are the properties of multiple the first property is every every number is a multiple of itself like if we multiply 9 with 1 or any number like 10 20 if if i multiply this number with 1 then every number is a multiple of itself like it's one now the second number property is every number is multiple of one if i have to find out the multiple of one then it will be one two three four so every number is multiple of one now the third one is either a multiple is equal to the given number or it will be greater than that it cannot be less than that if i have to find the multiple of suppose 4 then multiple of 4 is 4 into 1 see don't get confused multiple of 4 is these will be my these will be multiple of 4 so either it will be equal to the given number or it will be the greater than the number okay so the now the fourth one is multiples are uncountable we can find out like n numbers of multiple you can find out like thousand ten thousand these are not countables this can be we can find it out n numbers so the my next topic is how to confirm a number is a multiple of given number now this is all about checking our things whether a number is a multiple of certain number or not suppose the question is is 66 multiple of 3 if i have the question this one is 66 multiple of 3 then how we will we check what we'll do we'll divide 66 by 3 and see whether this number is completely divisible by 3 or not if it is completely divisible by 3 then 66 is a multiple of 3 so it's 22 uh, it's 22 so we can say that the 66 is a multiple of 3 we have to check it like this this is the way to confirm it whether a number is multiple or not let us assume if I have number uh, 17 if the question is is 17 multiple of 2 we all know that 17 is not divisible by completely not divisible by 2 so 2 8s are 16 still there is a 1 remainder so if I do in point my question would be this one so this is not completely divisible by 2 therefore 17 is not a multiple of 2 this is the way we'll check a number is multiple of certain number or not i hope you understand the concept of factor and multiple if you if you have any confusion please write it on inbox i will try to reply it and if you find these concepts are useful for you or one of your friends or maybe any of your students please share with them thank you so much